Okay, so in three, two, one. All right, so this might not be the most ideal setup in the world, but it's the only one I got. This is Nictana. I'm going to be doing traditional since I have not done that in a, in a very long time, actually. And I, uh, I used to do this all the time, and then I discovered digital art. I will say I prefer it now, and I used to be one of those people that was like, I'd rather do things traditional, not rely on digital. But traditional, had, like there was a certain point when I stopped where it was really starting to kill my hands. I have a really heavy hand. Like, I'll press right down on shit. So, if it's a screen <laughs> and it's my tablet, I think to myself, it's subconscious, I don't want to break it. So, I don't, like, push down so heavily on my tablet. So, I only have a short time to actually do this. So, I figured, you know what? I'm gonna, I should at least do this once if I ever do it. So, here we go. Normally, I would go with the skeleton and everything, but for right now, I'm probably just going to go with what I used to do when I was just wanting to just draw, um, just for, uh, just for the hell of it and just go with different shapes. So we'll just start with hair. Hair actually is really therapeutic for me to draw. I, I, it's one of my favorite things to draw actually. And even in the digital art, what I do is I still do strand by strand if I can help it, just so I can make sure it's blended better. With a pencil, it's so weird. Like, I have not used one of these in quite some time, so it's going to be like... Because I always try to dull one side and then flip it for the sharper side, because I'm only using mechanical. It's not like I'm using anything fancy right now. And I, I like doing, like, little, like, lines and, s s like, yeah, like, just to give it a little bit more, like, not an unkept feel, but it really, like, if you just do, like, even, like, li little, like, light strands of hair or dark, it really does give some depth, and it's just, it's it's such a little touch, and yeah, I feel like it makes such, such a big difference. Except I won't be able to do the light with this, I'd have to erase it, and, uh, my eraser, yeah. It's, it's not here, <laughs> but it's okay. Cause this is not going to be something that is going, it is meant to be like a perfect piece. Then again, when I, when I think about it, I really, I don't, I don't really believe that anything is perfect. It's just a matter of what the artist is happy with because every artist has a style. And at that point, perfection is really just a standard an artist sets for themselves to what they feel is their own standard, or perhaps if they are, but everyone's a critic, have a different ideal and definition of standard of what they look for in different art. But I feel like that's a little bit tricky because every artist is different. So to say perfection is something to look forward to is a bit of a setup for disappointment since nothing is perfect. There is no good nor evil there is just so here we got some hair i don't know what i was going for this i was think i was just going for a bang like not bang but like an open window haircut but just straggly down so i think i'll make this let's go with some creepiness then again it really i should just do what i usually do and that's darker art so let's just start with the eyes and again i'm doing this all out of habit i know like some are probably cringing i never i, I didn't start or even humor a skeleton but I'm just gonna do this because I've been it's a little emotional for me because I have not done traditional art in a very long time so doing this is doing this is like just again it's sort of like a blast from the past but again i'm not going to do it for too long because i really do not want to hurt my hands because i really do have a lot of shit i gotta draw digitally and i really just want to like st save up a lot of stamina for it my style is really scratchy and all that so just i know it's not like the most calm it's no it's not i'm confident in my lines in the sense that i'm confident of what i'm doing is what i'm intending to do but as for what is considered confident line art 
in the more traditional sense of what you'll see, no, it is not that, because I do scratchy style. Or my, my style is really scratchy. I usually just work the hair down. So, again, I'm, I see it in my head. It's just I have to translate this onto paper so you can see what I see. And I'm only getting little by little. So I'm doing it at the pace of which I can see. Because I can see the rest of it going down of like draping of what I want. But again, it's a matter of like it can always change. And that's okay. Sometimes it's better than the original uh, concept. If I'm breathing heavy, I apologize. I'm having a bit of trouble today. So, I mean, I took a hit off my inhaler, so I think I should be okay for the most part, but yeah. I also did it for that reason too, because I, I always get nervous. Like if there's some sort of, some if something go, is not like, if something feels a little off, it's, it's a reminder of mortality. And to think if people are fans, I want to document as much as I possibly can in case something ever did happen. And one of two things, loved ones could also share this if they wanted to after I'm gone and I can no longer provide it. But there's also some things that perhaps people would like to see afterwards. So it keeps the, it keeps the world building that I've created with Nictana alive. So there's that. Because when it comes right down to it, the, the reality is we live, we die, we try to find purpose, and ultimately, in the end, our memory is, ooh, shit. <laughs> our memory is really the, the only thing left, and that can alter, like in life, for how people perceive us. So if people like us, they can build us a better picture than we probably ever were in life, and if people hate us, they can probably taint it, and it's just... A create it's just a create an imbalance and luckily today with a lot of things and being able to document things like this there is that personal note that you can actually share with that with that creator because of media but of course there's also the dark side to that too but then again any creation of man has its pros and cons anything good with or anything created with good intent will eventually be exploited for and when I say good intent, I mean that loosely, because I do not believe in good or evil. I believe that we are imperfect people who make imperfect choices. What is good or bad is determined by the person it affects. Because what is bad to us may be good for someone else. That's what you always have to keep in mind. So I'm probably gonna keep this like this, just because I, I kind of like how it's I kind of like how this is going. It's like a bell sort of shape. So I'm gonna keep that. And we're just gonna work down into the shoulder and work into the collarbone. So this is where the scratch is gonna come in. I'm just gonna make sure I give a little scratches and indications of shadowing to also give a fleshy look. Like I wouldn't say wrinkles, but just more of like where. It's, it's just contouring the, the bone structure. We'll get to wrinkles in a second because I like to do a little bit around the mouth area. But I, I kind of like the faceless look, but that's just me. We'll say I'm sweating to death in these fucking gloves, but I, 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 thought, that was, I thought that was a nice touch of like just randomness because <laughs> that's just me. And plus I don't dress up that much, so I thought, nah, fuck it. Let's just, let's just add a little add a little something. Symbolism is everything. And yes, there was a little bit in this. But I'm not saying why. At least not yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be working into this a little bit more. Again, this is just quick. And then I thought if people do want to try traditional, I know a few of them. Um, a few people have been dabbling into the, the dark arts of traditional. <laughs> Um, and if JC Angel or someone else gets a kick out of this and wants to, and just people who want to see me draw in general, I don't have the, the correct setup for 
um, like OBS or anything of that nature, unfortunately. I could probably dabble into it and check eventually, but as of right now, I don't. And I thought this would be a fun way to fun way to show people a little bit of my process. And again, just for me, just sort of like going back and uh, being able to just do something I used to do all the time, which was traditional. Because I've been drawing for about, geez, 20 plus years. And um, I think the funny part is that to this day, I still use it as an escape. That's the funny part. Because one would think you'd grow out of a, a habit like that or something, but yeah. I'm going to thicken this area a little bit because I have that problem with perspective. I tend to like really contour one side over the other when it comes to this. So I'll just have to like bring out a little bit and just make sure. See, just like to even it out a little bit. You're always going to, if I'm angling a body going this way, you're always going to see that one side a little bit more, but we'll see. So I do switch my pen or my hand style for my pen a lot. Um, I know that's probably cringy, but I like to do it just because, um, especially with pencil and uh, traditional art. I don't really do it with tablet, but it's mainly because doing some angles and I, most people like would turn the page. I don't, <laughs> that's horrible. Oh shit, whoopsie. This is okay. I'll work with this. So I'm going to drag this down a little skinnier and we're going to do, oh, my back is killing me. Oh, posture check. But even with that, it's going to be a bitch. I like flowy stuff. So that's part of why I'm doing this too. And then we'll connect that right going down. So, hope everyone is well. And also, thank you for checking this out. It does mean a lot. But of course, this wouldn't exist had the scaling not persuaded me that it was a good idea to do stuff for YouTube. So, if you want to thank anyone for my almost 700 videos at this point, it's him. Because originally, I was only going to do art. I started on DeviantArt, of course. A little pissed at DeviantArt in some of the uh, issues with um, some of their standards, but what can you do? I do owe a little. I do owe a little bit because without the DeviantArt, I probably no, I wouldn't have. Um, I wouldn't have had the the artistic outlet because I really wasn't aware of sites. I do plan on um, expanding a little bit more. Um, I have like fur kind of stuff. That was, that was funny because I always tried to like on DVNR, I always try to like push the limit of what I could do in the lewd nature. <laughs> and then when I had the freedom on fur affinity, I was like, what do I do with all this freedom? <laughs> like I got so accustomed to, um, I got so accustomed to, uh, trying to like strategically hide shit. So, all right, we got that. So going to start doing a little bit different with the arms. So I'm going to not do traditional, like, you know, because it is supposed to be a creepier, um, a creepier portrait, if you will. So let's do this. Tendons, bone kind of structure here, not... No, not, not necessarily just going full, like, bone. Just just wanting a little bit of, like, a creepier sort of extension. But, of course, this also is... The reason I'm doing this is because 
I in the overall picture it will look it won't make it look as bulky in my opinion that is so we'll just do it that way oops that's okay because see these two points <laughs> it's unintentional but I go with it mainly because my race is broken <laughs> but also I can work with it because I sometimes I think subconsciously I do it on purpose to myself it's like either self-sabotage or uh just because I'm subconsciously doing something, so we'll just have another point going in here for the flow of the gown. Because remember, this person is, or this this um, entity, spirit, what have you, I do a lot of tortured soul work, so I do tend to use the word spirit a lot, or tortured soul, but I know some people might not like the word uh, tortured soul, but that's okay, because it's going to fuck them. Um, I believe that even in life, souls are tortured so I like to draw a physical representation of one's emotion there is beauty in the darkness and the imperfections and raw emotion I like to represent that so when people look at a piece it speaks to them not in the sense of saying someone is necessarily ugly inside but just seeing the raw emotion being like I can relate to it or this speaks to me because sometimes I believe that when you're dealing with either mental health or sexuality and just like the the representation of a visual can give it a face so you can better learn about yourself so maybe this is doing something for someone in some way everything I do does have symbolism I just don't like I don't like saying it all the time because I want a person to see the full picture beyond it because some people might even like just getting a, a vibe of lewdness from the, the, the detail in the, the, the body. So it really is just dependent on the viewer and that's the point. If someone wants to just view the superficial, that's, that's at their discretion. I'm not going to control that, nor can I, nor would I because it is not my life and I do not want to waste time worrying about controlling other people's thought process because one it's not for me and two it is a <clears throat> it is only setting one up for disappointment because you cannot change people people have to change at their own speed their own pace and also, I believe that every decade, people evolve. So when you look back at yourself every 10 years, you're, I believe that there's, there's a significant change if you really do want to observe it. But again, some people might, might not want to see the change. Because it can be a sobering moment to see. But then again, that sobering could also help you in the long run if you really are vigilant and take notice. So. All right. So um, I'm not really feeling the hands too much. I'm going to probably just work with like a with like a claw because I, I don't really feel like this this particular character, the hands, I, I'm not seeing it have hands. I'm seeing it have like hooks or something, something that it's more of... <clears throat> Let me all do one, one hook. Because I like the appeal of something trying to, like it still has the, the ability to hold, but it's mainly trying to hook and latch onto something to keep it closed. So I think I'll do one. So maybe this piece represents at least a little bit of what I'm seeing. Perhaps this piece represents the appeal of being how do I put this without a mouth because I really don't know if I want to add a mouth to be honest I might add bone structure around it but I don't want to add a mouth the facelessness and what I'm gathering already from what I'm seeing is that the representation of a a proper stance um something to draw in then hook and then whatever the hell it's gonna do with that hand just sort of like something of like I wouldn't say a trap in the sense of, like, a toxic person trying to manipulate and pull you in. I would say something that is 
elegant, demure, and also just wanting to, I guess, just be acknowledged. That's what I, at least that's what I'm getting from it. Originally, it was just supposed to be a subtle sort of flowing caricature of just, just not being able to speak, but just be seen. So it probably took, again, that was the original thought behind it. And it altered, as I said in, in the beginning, it really has altered into something that even I, right along with you, am seeing. So it's funny because sometimes I'll, I'll already know what I want. And then other times it just works out better than the original. So I'll ju I just go with it. Just like when I was slashing the hell out of the paper. Just go with it. <clears throat> Since we're coming to a close, because it is almost done. Can I really just, yeah, I'm going to hook this around like this. So it's, this looks like a bow. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And apologize for the non-professional setup. I do understand that this is probably not looking the greatest, but it's all I can really provide. And it's better that I provide something that someone might want to see than hold myself back because of the limitations. Humble beginnings. <clears throat> ah, sh shit. I was really not happy with that. Mm. See, I'm very anal when it comes to, uh, <sighs> I'm very anal when it comes to, like, little scribbles like this, even. I'm just gonna have to scratch it down a little bit. So it's sharper because I don't I don't like how it's looking fuzzy. At least for this part, like this going this way anyway. Little strands of material hanging off. I do. I always like that. Just little strands of things like hanging off, like the lower quarters of it. <clears throat> Not really. Uh... Hmm. There we go. Yeah, that will work better. Not really a lot of shading. It's supposed to be a sort of a transparent, sheer kind of material. It's supposed to be just supposed. It's just supposed to cover the crotch. <laughs> if you want the honesty, it's just really covering the crotch. <laughs> and I'll just like little like little rags of, or not rags, of uh, ripped, um, can't think of the word, just a little ripped material to just sort of, like, give it a little bit of weight and also framing, because I'm big on that. I'm big on lighting tricks, and that being where your, your focus is on the eyes, or is the, or the, 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 tr the big, big, um, focus point of the story that the piece tells. Because I like to have that focus point be where the eyes start. So I'm not pointing the crotch. That was fucking amazing. So it be like, say like the eyes and then you, the person or the viewer has to look at the full picture. But some people might not want to go that far into it and just pick out what they like from it. And that's okay. Again, you cannot get into the habit of wanting someone to do something because you feel that they are missing it. You have to let view, it has to be viewer by viewer and you can really tell what kind of people truly appreciate your art. And some people truly appreciate it. They just cannot see it because it's just, they, they can see some, everyone sees something differently. So understand that. There are some people who are just gonna look at something for the superficial because that's all they can really see. And that's nothing to be, don't, don't judge that either. Because that is something that they might feel limited to and they just won't say it. Or it's just a part of life. People sometimes are superficial and some people like that and are superficial themselves and it's okay. Because pretty things in appearance appeal to certain people. <clears throat> I mean... Variety is the spice of life. <laughs> so. And 
and to be honest i'm i wouldn't have it any other way because i i like seeing people express individuality even if i don't agree with anything <laughs> it's just nice because when you deal with someone who is see like they don't share anything in common with you and you both have are like grounded in your ideals it's nice to know that say like you believe in something strongly if you disagree with someone even stronger this also can work in a limiting sense too because it can work one of two ways one it can make you condition your beliefs and make them stronger so you can have a better argument because you're reversing a person that is countering you they are challenging you to explain yourself thus giving you a better understanding of what you believe in and a stronger argument again there is no right and wrong so the other part is that the upsetting issue is doing this hardens a person's belief and they are not as open-minded as they once were there's two major things that go on with an argument like that i am thrilled to constantly learn and observe because i don't believe i'm right i believe i have an opinion but that's about it and everyone has an opinion so it's nothing really that special Yes, I am a little worried that I might ruin the face because I do like the faceless look, but I do want to add a little bit more of like a skeletal look, so. Just make it very light and then just do like contouring and this is where the wrinkle part came in or comes in that I was talking about earlier just little tiny wrinkles of pulling just to represent not necessarily aging but just one stress and to be honest when you have wrinkles it's not that big of a deal because it's, I when I look at them now like any new one that I get I think initially I'm like oh fuck but then I think to myself, you know what, I, I earned them. It's okay, because it all happens. And I always think to myself, if, like, if the scaly or whatever, like, just was upset about like him getting any or something like that, it's like, you have to reflect when someone you care about is feeling or suffering in a similar way to you, and what you often bottle up every day. It's it, it's humbling, but it's also just support because a lot of us, I believe, have similar issues and hang-ups and, and, and fears and woes. It's just we don't like to explain it or converse because communication seems to be lacking nowadays, especially when it comes to mental health and uh, the self-awareness because, again, we're dealing with a lot of people that still were brought up on if you had mental issues then there's something wrong with you or real men don't cry or just some bullshit like that that 
like that makes you afraid to admit if you have a problem or need help. All right. Well, it's pretty much coming to a close. I'm just going to add a few more little lines here because I want to keep this a little bit more on the light side just because. So with the little hand here, I'm just going to do nails. Let's just be perfect. I'll just do claws, like Viola claws. I do that a lot, I think, in a lot of art. I like, I just like claws. <laughs> and then just feed this into this down here. And there we go. Oh. All right, this is Nick Tana. Thank you so much for watching and have a great week.